What's going on everybody? I uh, apologize for the noise in the background. I'm outside with it today. Why? Because it's nice out and I like recording outside when it's nice. But getting back to this, it's your boy Jobbers and Goons and today we have a beef video. We haven't done beef in a while and I want to do a cosmic beef because we don't, we've done a lot of like street tier beefs and stuff. So I want to kind of get out there into the uh, cosmic side of things and I have a hilarious beef for you it's actually a pretty funny one because it was misconstrued by a lot of people in the uh, power scaling community for a long time and it was used to wank certain characters so we're gonna talk about this particular beef that caused a lot of controversy in power scaling and this is Trigon vs presence the beef i hope you guys enjoy and if you love videos like this and would like to see your favorite character or story on either this channel or the coffee shop you can either comment down below and hope i uh one day cover it or you could simply purchase it and add me on discord to hit me up about it but anyways i hope you guys enjoy this and without further ado let's begin and i, I know what you guys are thinking you if you've been a long time member of my channel you'll be like dude how does trigon beef with the presence first of all we do have to give some credit to Trigon. He was talking his shit in this run. Like, he he definitely thought there was a vibe, uh, but there wasn't for him, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and get right on into it so you guys can see how funny this story is. So I actually read this story when I was investigating Phantom Stranger. The reason I was doing so is because all my time covering comics, people have referred to Phantom Stranger as a cosmic trash can, right? Like, he's supposed to be a, the ultimate jobber, makes Living Tribunal look like a wind magnet, right? So he, he's he's definitely suspect. So I was like, you know what? I want to read Phantom Stranger, see if I can correct his uh, reputation as a jobber. Because I did so with Spectre, right? So I read this run. Turns out, still jobs. Hate to see it. But it was a great run. Phantom did have some feats in it, too, and did show some uh, heart at certain times. But... The best part of the run is it gave us Trigon and Spectre's beef, or uh, Presence beef. The reason this was funny as shit is because of how it started, right? So at one point, Presence is like, yo, Phantom Stranger, I need you to do uh, me a favor. Stranger's like, yo, why am I doing this for you? Why am I doing that for you? Presence's like, stop asking questions, bitch. You're my cosmic slave. Like He's like, shut your mouth. You work for God. And he's like, go take Raven to her bitch-ass daddy, okay? Go drop her off. And he's like, why would we give her to Demon? He's like, again, bro, stop asking questions, damn. But he's like, my plans are so far beyond anything beings like you and Trigon can comprehend that it's just irrelevant for me to try to explain it to you. It's like it's like trying to explain to jobbers and goons fucking cricket, how to play cricket, right? That shit's not going to work. That shit's confusing when I watch it, all right? So Presence was like, just don't worry about it. Stop trying to figure me out. You literally can't comprehend me. He's like, even an evil there's good plans, right? Which is interesting, but he's like, even in something you view as inherently evil like Trigon, which is supposed to be like complete evil, there's good plans in there. This confused the shit out of Phantom Stranger, but he's like, all right, whatever. So he takes, he subdues Raven, very impressive by the way, takes her to her dad, right? He's like, yo, Amazon Prime delivery, here's your daughter, uh, President said you can have her, right? And Trigon comes down, he's like, oh, my daughter, I've missed her. And he's looking big as shit, right? I'm not gonna lie. Trigon hits the gym sometimes. He's got biceps on him. You know the vibes. And he's like, yo, I'm flexing right now because you know why you're dropping off my daughter, right? And Phantom Stranger's like looking around. He's like, Trigon, are you talking to me, bro? Because I'm just the fucking delivery guy. And Trigon's like, nah, you know why you delivered her, right? You know why you had to bring her to me, right? And Presence is, or Phantom Stranger's like, bro, I don't know why. And, and I'm gonna be honest, as a reader, this should have been my first warning how this beef was going to go. But Phantom Stranger, because if y'all don't know, Phantom Stranger is kind of a bitch, right? Like, he doesn't ever really step to anybody. And he's like, yo, first of all, Trigon, watch your mouth. Like, I don't know why you're getting brave with me. You know I don't fight people, so I don't know why you're talking shit to me. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. And he's like, secondly, I don't try to understand what Presence does. I can't. I literally can't fathom his plans. So I'm just the delivery guy. So stop. And Trigon's like, all right, bitch. He's like, let me tell you why you're delivering my daughter. And Trigon's like, Presence knows if he doesn't bring my daughter back, 
I will come to Heaven's Gates with my army, break it down, take her back, and there's nothing Presence can do about it. Because he knows what would happen if I fight him. And Phantom Stranger's like, bro, that's a dope-ass speech, but no one believes that shit. <laughs> and Phantom was like, dog, I don't know his plans. I agree, but I also know he's not copping a plea deal with you. So I don't know why you're trying to say that. He's like, look, just take your daughter back. Go on your high horse or whatever. Believe what you want. But come on, dog. Like, he's, Phantom Stranger's like, keep it a buck. You know Presence isn't scared of you. And Trigon's like, nah, bitch, he's scared. So that's really the foundation. That's like the jump off point, right? Live chat, let me know what you think of the jump off point. I thought it was a hilarious exchange, especially because Phantom Stranger never talks shit. But he was mad at this point. And... So, the story goes on, Phantom Stranger's doing all these missions, trying to redeem himself, because if you don't know, it's implied he's like Judas, the betrayer of the uh, Son of God, and so, he's doing all these things, trying to figure out life, trying to figure out creation, he's got a whole bunch of shit going on, right? And eventually, he gets captured by Hell Council. Now, this Hell Council, uh, we had already seen some of the characters throughout this story, for example, uh, Belial. Uh, who is the son of Trigon, had a run-in with Phantom Stranger already. So, we already knew about multiple members of this group, right? By the way, smash the like button if you haven't already. 400 likes, I'll do another beef. Uh, or I'll do a Presence Goon video, because he's he's a goon. But, getting back to this, we've seen all these Hell Council members, right? Naran's even there. Um, there's a whole bunch of Hell Lords. So Phantom Stranger's in there, and they're talking crazy to him, right? They're like, we're going to torture you. Then we're going to pull up on the presence. He's scared. All this. Keep in mind, we had already seen a major flex from Phantom, uh, or uh, Presence, right? And this is another controversial scaling. Um, at one point, Constantine, like, threatens Presence, right? But Constantine also said he couldn't fathom Presence and didn't know what was actually going on. He basically just making threats. Presence didn't care about the threats. In fact, the the ops for Constantine, like that, like Blight and all that, he froze, literally Presence froze all of them. When he was giving his speech, he's like, Constantine, I let you troll and I let everything else happen because I want it to happen, bitch. Because the story's got to happen. And so I'm like, damn, like Presence is OD because people thought Blight was insane. And so Presence, there's like a knock on the door, right? The Hell Lords are threatening Phantom Stranger. Phantom Stranger's like, oh, shit, I might actually have to fight to get out. This is going to be rough. And in comes a 10-pound Terrier form of the Presence. Now, if you don't know, he's been rocking the shit out of this form this whole whole run. Phantom Stranger was like, yo, why are you, why are you built like a Terrier? And he's like, peep game, homie. I'm the Presence. I'm in everything in creation. Therefore, everything is me. Why can't I be a terrier? If I want to be a fly-ass terrier, I'm going to do that shit. I was like, that's facts, Presence. Dress how you want. And so, that's how he moves. He's in terrier form this story. So, little Presence comes in, right? And he's like, yo, what up, though? And the whole Hell Council gets shook, right? And Trigon's like, yo, how did you know we are here? And Presence goes, you dumb bitch. He's like, literally all of you are merely infinitesimal aspects of a grand design that I already made. And Trigon was like, are you saying I'm a part of you? Like, that that I'm a part of your plan, like a part of your power, all that. And Presence was like, of course, dummy. Like, this, this shit's happening because I wanted it to happen. He's like, this is all a part of my plan. Like, you, you guys are nothing but pawns to presence that's all you are you're literally all cosmic pawns and the whole hell councils just at that point they're about to kill themselves right they're like oh my this is far worse than this is not going the way we thought it would right like it's just a whole lot of shit going on and presence is like yo phantom stranger go ahead and dip my boy and phantom stranger's like what he's like yeah you could dip you're free you know you ain't got to worry about this council no more go ahead and head on out and so Phantom Stranger's leaving, and he turns around, and he's like, yo, Presence, are, are you coming with me? And Presence turns and looks at him, and is like, nah, I heard they were talking crazy on the net. He's like, I heard these boys said they could beat the shit out of me. I heard they said they would come to Heaven's Gates. And <laughs> Presence looks Trigon dead in his face, because Trigon at this point is like shitting himself along with the rest of the crew. 
And Presence goes, yo, Trigon, you were the one leading the hate squad, right? Like, you was the one saying you would come to my front door and start shit, right? He's like, Phantom Stranger, dip. I got this shit. I'll be out there in a minute. And, dude, Presence vibe at this point, even though he's only a 10-pound dog, keep that in mind, was so OD that Phantom Stranger said a prayer for Trigon and his homies. Sure enough, do you, by the way, do you know how bad that is? The ass whooping's gonna be so severe and basically an angel's praying for a hell lord. <laughs> That's horrible. But anyways, a few moments pass. Presence comes back out. Perfectly fine. Looks at Phantom Stranger. Phantom Stranger's a little un uneasy because he doesn't know if he just witnessed a cosmic genocide. And Presence was like, yeah, I don't think they're gonna talk crazy no more, my guy. I think I handled that shit. And that <laughs> ended the beef with Presence absolutely throttling Trigon and his Hell Council for talking crazy about him. That's right. They don't scale to Presence or above him. They're all infinitesimal aspects of him and a part of his grand plan, which was hilarious to see. And it was funny how bad he beat their ass and vibe checked him. One of the greatest vibe checks I've ever read in comics. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like content like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, Road to 20K, baby, I'm here for it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy Jobbers and Goons, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.